guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Callie. And I'm Dean. So today we have a book haul for you guys. So it's all the books that we acquired through Book Outlet um, or other means um, in the month of April. So we're just going to get in. We probably won't get into a lot of the description just because we both have a fair amount of books and a fair amount of them are sequels or continuations yeah. to books that we've just wait been waiting for them to go on Book Outlet <laughs> or because <laughs> we're broke. The first books I got are a part of a series. I got books two and three of the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, which is Hollow City and Library of Souls. Um, I've had the first book forever. I have yet to pick it up, <laughs> but I still so want to. I still want to have the whole series. So these were both on Book Outlet, so I got them. All right, first book I actually bought this month was um, Stephen King's The Pet Cemetery, and I got this one because I've tried to read Stephen King in the past. And just really haven't gotten into his writing, but I've only really read his short stories before. So I figured I'd give a full-length novel of his a shot. And this is the book that he claims to be the scariest book he ever wrote. So I'm giving it a shot. I'm actually currently reading it, and I'm halfway through, and I still don't know what I think about it. <laughs> Next book I got was Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page, which is part of the Dorothy Must Die series. This was the last book in the entire series I needed <laughs> to start it. I have all of the other books, so when I saw that this was on sale for like $2, I picked it up. The one hardback arc that I got this month is The Last Collection, um, a novel of Alyssa Schiaparelli and Coco Chanel by Jeanne Mackin. Um, and this book I got sent from the publisher. It comes out in June, on June 25th, and I really have no idea what it's about, um, except for it takes place in flapper times. I believe it's in the 1920s. Oh, 1938. I was close. The next continuation that I ended up getting this month was Vengeful by V.E. Schwab, which is the second book um, in the Vicious duology by V.E. Schwab, and I love her writing. I knew I'm. I know I'm gonna like this. I've read, I believe, almost everything else she's written, um, earlier even yep. this year, <laughs> and I've fallen in love with her writing style. So naturally, when I saw this for eight dollars on Book Outlet, it went what? I said you can't say no. I can't. I couldn't say no because I do have Vicious already, mm -hmm. and now I can just binge it, and it'll be great. <laughs> right, the next book I got was Legendary by Stephanie Garber. This is the second book in the Caraval, what will be a trilogy. Um, the third one comes out next month, I believe. And um, I, I don't own the first one, but I now own the second one. <laughs> so now I can read them, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the next one I got was Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And this is the final book in the Illumine trilogy. Which, I have a Lubinet, and now I have this one. So I'm missing Gemina. <laughs> and I'm going to patiently wait until Gemina comes on Book Outlet. But I've heard really good things about this series, so I'm really interested to actually read the series when I have all of the books. This is how we buy books, <laughs> by the way. Never buy a book in order. That's just wrong. No, no. Why would we do that? The next book I got is um, Castaways of the Flying Dutchman by Brian Schock. This was actually one of my favorite books back when I was in like fifth grade and it's absolutely adorable. There's a talking dog and yes, I, this is actually the first in a series, but it can be read as a standalone as well. So I highly recommend this one. I love this book and I'm so excited to have a physical copy now. So the next book I got was Sight Witch by Susan Dennard, which is the prequel novel to the Truth Witch or Witchlands series that she has. I know... Blood Witch just came out earlier this year, um, so I've been slowly collecting these ones that have been on Book Outlet. Um, I only have this one and the second book, um, but I really like witches and stories like that, so I'm pretty excited to get to this series. The next one I got is The Lost Plot by Genevieve Cogman. This is the fourth book in the Invisible Library series. I... Absolutely. I really love this series and I own the first three so now I have the fourth one and the fifth one comes out this year I believe and so I'm really excited to have a physical copy and they're just getting larger. They're getting longer as the series progresses. The next book I got um, was The Phoenix Empress and I'm not going to try to say her name because I don't want to be mean because I cannot pronounce that. I apologize. This is a sequel to The Tiger's Daughter, which I also have. 
and I just really love these covers. They're gorgeous, hand-painted it looks like. And these are, I believe, a sort of Mulan kind of retelling, but I'm not sure. I know it takes place in China, in medieval times. So the next, I guess, set that I got is <laughs> I got books two through four of the Lux series by Anna Godberson, which includes Rumors, Envy, and Splendor. Um, so I love these covers. I know they're like older, and this is an older series that has been done it's been complete for a while, mm -hmm. but um, this was recommended to me. Thank you. Yeah, um, I just really like the really pretty dresses. The next book I got was The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. This is the first book in the Last Magician duology. I'm honestly not sure what it's called, um, but I've had my eye on this book for a while, but I really wanted the paperback version, and now that both books are out, I was able to get this first one, and yes, I'm gonna try and get this sticker off. It's bothering me. <laughs> the next two books that I got, again, go together, because I like to buy books as sets, even though this <laughs> isn't a complete one now, but I got the first two <laughs> books in The Kane Chronicles by Rick Riordan. Um, I read the Percy Jackson series years ago. I plan on rereading it sometime this year, um, but I never knew until earlier this year that he wrote other mythology-based books. And these ones, all I really know about it is it's based on Egyptian mythology, which I love Egyptian mythology. It's just so interesting and different. And so I'm pretty excited to get to this series. All right, so you might know that I've been reading nonfiction as well this year. I try to read about two or so nonfiction books every month, and I've been doing pretty well with that so far. So I did pick up two nonfiction books from Book Outlet. The first one is Frozen in Time, an epic story of survival and a modern quest for lost heroes of World War II by Mitchell Zuckoff. And I really just have a fascination with World War II, and so I will read just about anything I can get my hands on about World War II and the different um, groups that were involved. Going along with that, I also got The Book Thieves, The Nazi Looting of Europe's Libraries and the Race to Return a Literary Inheritance by Anders Rydell. And this one follows um, all of the looting that was done during the Nazi regime of libraries and bookstores, and they're trying to find some of those books. And so I'm pretty excited to read this one that as well. Cool. Mm -hmm. The next book I got is The Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Um, I've been recommended to read this series by so many people as I started getting back into the fan young adult fantasy world. Um, all I really know is it follow, it's like a, the daughter of an angel and a demon, right? Yeah, it's something like something, that. Oh yeah, you haven't read it. I haven't read <laughs> it, I own it, but I haven't this read it. This might be one of the books that we decide to buddy read together. Maybe we can rope Brittany into reading a fantasy book. <laughs> uh, but this one was on sale, so I naturally wanted to pick it up because I've only really seen these books be sold as a final set, which are pretty expensive. Yeah. The next two books I got are actually part of a trilogy, and these are the second and third books of the Heroin Complex series. It, number two is Heroin Worship, and number three is Heroin's Journey. And I own the first one as well, so now I have the complete trilogy. And these are supposed to be light um, fantasy books that follow superheroes in our world. And our main character is supposed to be a sidekick. And then she has to impersonate a superhero for some... Uh, some publicity thing and ends up finding out that she has powers of her own cool and so it goes off into a whole series about that and there's like exploding demon cupcakes and flying things yeah it's it just sounds hilarious and a lot of fun so. going off of superheroes the next book i got was renegades by marissa meyer <laughs> um i got this for the sole purpose of the fact that i fell in love with marissa meyer earlier this year when i read the entire lunar chronicles series <laughs> In the span of like a week and a half. Yeah. So naturally, I wanted to grab everything else she has ever written. Ever. So I found this series, which follows superheroes. And that's all I know, and I kind of don't care. <laughs> Next book I got is one that I've actually been collecting this series for a while now. Just trying to get all of them in the hardback version. This is the sixth book, Immortal Reign of the Fallen Kingdom series. Um, and this is by Morgan Rhodes. So I own all of them now except for number two. The next book I got is a second book in a series. See, I'm finishing my series here. Um, and this is The Last of August, which is the second book in the Charlotte Holmes series. And this is by Brittany Cavallaro. And all I know about this one is it follows the descendants of Sherlock Holmes and Watson. 
And so it's supposed to be a very fun series. So now I have the first two. And the last book that I got is the third book in the Queen of Hearts trilogy by Colleen Oaks. This one is War of the Cards. And I, this is an origin story, I believe, of the Queen of Hearts from mm -hmm. Alice in Wonderland. Mm -hmm. And I've heard that they're really quick and good reads. And so now that I have the trilogy, I might actually binge read the entire thing. We'll see. You read a whole series at once? No. You might. I might. Depending. I might. All right. And then the last book I got was actually my Owl Crate for this month. Um, and that is Wicked Saints by Emily Emily A. Duncan. Um, so this came in my Owl Crate. I'm sure eventually I'll get to doing Owl Crate unboxings when I have the patience to wait to film it. <laughs> which I don't. Yeah. Um, all I know she is that she can kill or talk to gods, and that's about all I know. <laughs> yeah, she's... This is just pretty, and it's gorgeous. The spine is pretty. Um, so I'm pretty excited. I will probably not get to this until next month. I haven't disliked an Owl Crate book yet. Yeah. All right, so that's gonna be all the books we got so far in the month of April. <laughs> There's still One. a week left. There is still a week <laughs> left. Hopefully we can have a little self-control. Um, but feel free to like, subscribe, comment the books you got this month or any books you might want to recommend to us. Um, or if you've read any of these, let us know which ones we should start with too. Yeah. Um, feel free to hit the bell icon below if you want to be notified whenever we post videos, which is right now on Tuesdays and Fridays. And we hope to see you guys next time. All right. Thanks Bye. for watching.